Hi, I'm Val from Barbell Fitness, and I worked on my lower body this day, starting off with the leg extensions because uh, the squat racks were occupied. It was a busy morning, Wednesday morning. It was about 10:25 a.m. And let me just tell you a little bit about what's going on, my plans for this year. Um, initially, I wanted to compete in April, but I don't think that's going to happen because of, uh, this is, I just want to get better with my health, but I'm glad to announce that a good friend of mine, Dee Dee, um, who saw me in the last show, rooted for me and everything, well she's thinking about competing in April at the uh, Steve Stone NPC uh, event. I think it's going to be in Jersey so she told me that I inspired her to to compete which is great she's a really good friend of mine so if she does compete I will be there rooting for her and filming the event do I plan on competing at all this year I I do plan on it um, I think there's one in Maybe in May or June, I have to check the schedule. It'll, it'll be an NPC event because it's more convenient for me. They have a few of them here in New York City. And if anything, um, probably, definitely the Brooklyn NPC event in October of 2015. So that's still, you know, later on this year. But um, I am getting back into the gym. Trying to get my health back and my strength back. Just trying to get back into the routine I did before because I really enjoyed doing it. I will be um, 45 years old this year. So you're never too old and you're never too late to start lifting. I just saw Johnny Candido's father um, do a bench. I think he did 325, I'm not sure, but he's 60 years old and he's still rocking it. He looks great and he's very inspiring and I think that age isn't a factor as long as you keep yourself active, as long as you have the desire to lift, the desire to do it, um, it shouldn't feel like work, if anything it should feel gratifying I mean I do it because I I feel very gratified and I feel great and um, here I am doing some lunges here I'd only did two sets of these because I hated doing these I hardly do them I should probably do them more often and I want to show you the stuff I put in my gym bag I use a knapsack there because uh, I commute by bus or by train and it's just easier for me to carry stuff um, on my knapsack. So I got my my shaker cup, my brush, I got my um, my squat shoes, my uh, insert belt. As you can see it fills up and that knapsack actually um, it gets bigger like it has a zipper to, ex to widen it I got my tripod there. Sometimes I put some groceries in there. Uh, I'll be going to Trader Joe's after this. That's my workout log. You can see it's falling apart. Um, I try to put the spiral back in. It just It's just a hassle. I only got a few more weeks in there anyway. And there you go. That's my workout log. It just keeps it organized. And also I got my camera, charger, I bring that once in a while and that's the camera I use, the Canon Elf and as you can see it's full. My bag is uh, stuffed and i um, got other stuff in that pocket. And I wanted to share this because Carob Spice, I'll send her link down at the description box, she showed her gym bag and what was in it and this is what I got at Trader Joe's. Nothing much because, um, you know, I go to the grocery a few times a week because so I don't want to carry too much stuff. I got my green beans. Actually, my dog enjoys those green beans. I give 
uh, green beans and carrots as treats instead of dog food and he really loves it. There's Barty Bart. It's my boy Bart. He's 14 years old and he recently had a stroke but he's doing better now. We're both doing better and he's happy. Here we are playing in the, in the playground here in Brooklyn and uh, he's looking great but anyway thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I think tomorrow I'll be working on chess and triceps. I'll see if I can record that footage for you. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.